वेलकम टू दी आईटी प्लैनेट ऑफ श्री वशिष विद्यालय टुडे इन दिस फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स आई योर कंप्यूटर सर फैन इन मैथ आई वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट कंप्यूटर वायरस द टॉपिक्स डेट विल बी कवर्ड इन दिस चैप्टर आर कंप्यूटर वायरस ई मेल वायरस मालवेयर वायरस रैंसमवेयर वायरस एंटी वायरस प्रोग्राम एंड प्रिकॉशंस दैट कैन बी टेकन अगेंस्ट द कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम वायरस द नेक्स्ट लाइट एज यू कैन सी इज कंप्यूटर वायरस नो वॉट इज अ वायरस वायरस स्टैंड फॉर वाइटल इंफॉर्मेशन रिसोर्स इज अंडर सीज वायरस इज आर प्रोग्राम विच आर क्रिएटेड डेलीफिकली टू डैमेज और टू करप्ट अवर डेटा अ वायरस कैन बैडली इफेक्ट और इनफेक्ट योर कंप्यूटर विदाउट योर नॉलेज and once a virus is in your computer your files and operating system may get damaged now virus is they are not generated by chance there are certain specialized skilled persons who are known as a programmer the programmer of a virus is known as virus author and they intentionally write or create or develop a program to motivate the damage to your data or programs in the computer now writing a virus program usually requires a significant programming skills as i said now let us see about the types of viruses which are prevalent there are basically four types the first of which is file infector as the name suggests it is one of the most common types of virus this virus can cause irreversible damage and the files permanently destroying the content <coughs> boot sector virus it attaches itself to the boot sector of the disk where startup instructions and file allocation tables are kept now boot sector is the sector of your hard disk or the part of your hard disk where the operating system is being kept or the main file of the operating system is being kept to load to boot to start now if this main file is being damaged your operating system will not load <laughs> the third <coughs> type of virus is executable file virus it stores itself in an executable file that is .exe the file with the extension .exe and it infects other files each time the file is run or executed last but not the least it in microvirus it infects the files created using applications or programs that contains macros macros are certain uh, different types of <coughs> settings which we can do Uh, using say for example microsoft word now some examples of viruses as we can see the first example of virus is a worm it is a harmless virus that replicates itself but in the long run it takes all of your resources of the computer and eventually your computer becomes useless as it uses the space the storage space of your computer The next one is Trojan horse. According to Greek mythology, it was a huge wooden horse constructed by the Greeks that hid a selected force of men inside it to gain a friendly entrance into a Troy, a name of the city, during the Trojan War. This will be much better explained if you have seen the Hollywood movie, the Troy. Similarly, now you'll be thinking, what does that Trojan horse has to do with our virus? <coughs> so in computing this virus does the same thing by friendly entrance through the game or application this type of virus can spread through a number of ways but most commonly they spread through means of attachment of mail so if you open an unknown email with an attachment which you are not certain this virus can enter your computer The next example of virus is rootkit. It is a program that hides itself in a computer and allows someone from a remote location to take full access to your computer. So don't share your information to unknown persons. Sweeper. It is a fake antivirus also known as Rook. It looks like antivirus. People download it unintentionally and then it changes the system files, browsing activities, etc. Sleeper. it is known to steal your financial and personal information it is programmed to target large networks and only has and has infected millions of computers so far 
till now so please 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 don't click on any unknown emails don't open any websites which are not safer without the guidance of your parents or your teachers next alabama it is a computer virus which, which infects the executable files that is as we said with the the files with the extension of .exe it is loaded into the memory by executing or running an infected file program it changes the file names and the file allocation table so that the file works very slow and slowly and gradually it stops working logic bomb it is a program or a part of a program which lies dormant dormant means still it does not work until a specific piece of program or a logic is activated the most common activator of logic bomb is date and time security setting when a particular date and time is reached which is being set in this virus this virus gets activated and it stops your computer to form to perform properly christmas virus it spreads via small executable file and with a variety of names and extensions it is propagated by copying itself onto local and network drives as well as emailing itself as an attachment to any address so if you get an email from an unknown source please 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 don't open it and if there is an attachment in it please don't click it delete it for sure infected email messages arrive with subject like merry christmas and the body that is the main text like happy holidays the attachment has name postcard followed by executable ex extension the next is adware it is a program that displays unwanted advertisements in a banner like pop up windows unwanted email messages or other internet services if you click on that advertisement sometimes it will take you to a virus contained site and then the virus enters your computer the next is spyware it is a program placed on a computer or a mobile device without the user's knowledge the secrets it collects the secret and then it sends back or communicates the same information to some outside source while the user is online so please don't share your personal information like if you are using facebook try not to share your personal information personal pics on the facebook it can get hacked thank you <coughs> now let us see some sources of viruses the first source is email as we have discussed earlier these kind of viruses are spread by files attached to the email messages when you open an email attachment containing virus it enters your computer the second source is internet download children nowadays you download anything and from anywhere from any website please don't do it you need to take guidance of your teacher proper guidance so that if the stuff you download from the internet is infected with virus then it infects your computer system these viruses replicates itself and infects other files in the computer thus your computer will not work and it will be damaged the next source of viruses are distribution of softwares now when your computer is infected with virus and you copy any software which you might have purchased or which you might have brought on a cd or some removable drive like pen drive you can get infected rather your computer might get infected with that particular virus if that device is installed or inserted in your computer that's it for now signing off from svv lab this is panel sir goodbye